Dear People of Christ Church, As many of you know, our bishop sent out a message to all the diocese. The decision has been made for the safety of everyone that, quote, effective Saturday, March 14th through Sunday, March 29th, 2020, all congregations east of Dover, and including Dover in the Diocese of Newark, will refrain or fast from gathering for public worship, large group gatherings, and meetings involving high-risk groups, those over 60 and or those with underlying medical conditions, unquote. This, of course, includes our parish. So after tomorrow's funeral, we will offer virtual means of worshiping and gathering during this fast. The full text of the bishop's email is below, but I wanted to ensure you heard this opening message of her letter because it is very important. She wrote, quote, Dear Companions on the Journey, at our convention just over a month ago, we focused on a word often found in Holy Scripture, behold, a simple word that sounds old-fashioned today. Behold is used to communicate that something important is about to be said or happen in the Bible. When we read or hear that word in the Bible, we could substitute the words, now listen, this is very important. With that in mind, I write, behold. God is in this moment. Now listen, this is very important. God is in this moment, right this very minute. As people search for the answer to a perilous threat, God is with us. Our refuge and strength is a very present help in this time of trouble. While we are full of questions and concerns, God is with us. As our routines are disrupted, God is with us. When we discover how to be church in new and unusual ways, God is with us. Unquote. Indeed, God is with us in these troubled times, and we will continue to be with one another, but we will do this using the evangelism tools of the 21st century. Now, a, a bit about how we will move forward. This Sunday, rather than offering our own virtual service, I'm asking you to join with other Episcopalians across the country for a service of worship live from our National Cathedral in Washington, D.C., with a sermon by our presiding bishop, the Most Reverend Michael Bruce Curry. The service begins on Sunday at 11 a.m. A link to this service will be emailed to you and is posted below. For the following two Sundays at 10.30 a.m., I will lead a virtual morning prayer service. Details on that and links to participate will be sent to you, posted to our Facebook page and to our website. Your leadership team will be meeting virtually as well, and we will be checking in on you from time to time, particularly those in our parish who are most vulnerable. We may also meet virtually as a parish, and if we do, I will send out links to you by email. As I said in my earlier video, fear breeds in darkness. And so I will do everything I can to keep you informed and to care for you in the days ahead, including posting more videos and other information where it is helpful. One of the hymns that comes to my mind in these difficult times is, Guide me, O thou great Jehovah, particularly this verse. Guide me, O thou great Jehovah, pilgrim through this barren land. I am weak, but thou art mighty. Hold me with thy powerful hand. Behold, God is in this moment and will feed us evermore. May God bless you and keep you in the days ahead.